Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the improvements we've made to MIDI transcriptions in Dorico 4. We've totally overhauled the way we interpret MIDI, resulting in much cleaner and more musical textures, especially in keyboard music. For example, we can now apply a moving split point so that music recorded into grand staves can much better retain the lines of each hand. Look how these arpeggio notes occupy much of the same area of the piano keyboard, but even though both hands were recorded together, each musical line stays on its own staff. Dorico can now also detect and notate multiple concurrent voices. Again, this music was recorded all at once, and Dorico has understood how I wanted it separated into voice one and voice two. These two features used together mean you're able to record keyboard music much more freely and naturally, and Dorico will give you a default result that will require far less cleanup or editing. Dorico now also automatically detects a variety of notations as you play. For example, if you overlap notes slightly, Dorico interprets them as a slurred passage. Dorico also detects trills and tremolos and also grace notes. And piano pedal lines are attached more musically, with pedal retakes also being understood. All of these detections can be enabled or disabled on the play page of preferences. And all of these new features not only work during real-time MIDI recording, but are also applied when importing MIDI using the new Smart MIDI Import feature, which I detail in a separate video. So you benefit from all the same voice and grand staff separation features and the automatic detection of slurs, grace notes, trills and tremolos, and so on. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.